my name is Lindsay Ghetto and I want more control of my learning because I'll be able to have more of a customized class towards me because sometimes I like go to school just like a regular high school system and I've already, they teach us stuff but sometimes we already know that stuff. So it's kind of like I want to learn something new and be able to up my knowledge a bit more. You need to start thinking too about kids moving through high school credits at their own pace. Um, and so we're getting at this a little bit with e-learning, but also, you know, again, with teachers. And there are models around the country um, of high schools where kids move through credits and classes at their own pace and some move fairly quickly the idea is well then what we can what can we offer them you know their last year of high school their maybe their last two years of high school again we still want them to be part of our system we're not quite ready for them to go out into the world the world may not be ready quite yet to employ them at age 16 but what can we do can they earn um, credits you know at our local university can they can they extend some of their learning in the arts and in music um, can they get these career tech opportunities Opportunities. Can they do an apprenticeship, you know, with a local business, uh, you know, and again, just add to that entire um, experience that they have as a high school student before they uh, exit our system with a diploma. So at Lathrop, you know, they're looking at this uh, Innovation Academy which again is starting to get at these ideas of a later start, students uh, progressing at their own rate through classes. Many students are trying to recover credit, and I know that students and families are so grateful for the opportunity because they thought they'd lost that opportunity in a traditional system. And how sad is that? Because that translates to a dropout potentially. So, you know, Lathrop is trying to create another path, other paths for kids to, to earn their diploma. And I think what's gonna happen is, other students and parents are gonna want that same opportunity but for different reasons, again, for acceleration reasons, you know, you know, I want my kid to get an associate's degree before they get out of school. I want my kids to have this experience over here with, you know, my brother who owns, you know, an aviation business. And I want them to get their pilot's license before they leave. So they have a launch into an aviation career, you know, all, all kinds of sort of um, opportunities like that. I think we just need to start thinking outside the box. Um, and, and again, when I just think about uh, all, any high school teacher thinks about the 30 kids in front of them and the full range of interests and um, motivations and what engages each of those kids. If it's not just us for 60 minutes every day that has to keep that whole class captivated and interested for an entire semester or a year, if we start just opening up the doors and opening up the possibilities and allowing that to be okay, knowing that there's certain benchmarks that kids need to meet, you know, there's certain outcomes that they have to um, achieve before they get a high school diploma, I think what we're going to see is many kids are going to go well beyond that. And it won't just be, um, you know, our best and our brightest kids. It'll be a whole range of kids, you know, because we'll just open the doors on what high school can be for them. So those are the things that excite me about personalized learning at high school.